Let's have a look how we can deal with selection sets and make sure they don't automatically remove themselves when you add them to a batch render. So this is a comment from, I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly, Tiang Jiang Zhong, and it's about selection sets. And he wants to, he's followed my video. I'm gonna go and load my Genesis 8 figure with modesty. And uh, I'll just create a quick selection set and, uh, and recap what we did there. So the problem is that when you have poke through and you're hiding geometry with the geometry editor, then sometimes what happens, I might just delete that, there we go, to see that a bit better. I'll add some clothing, like maybe the basic wear tank top here. And imagine there's an issue with poke through. So what I normally would do is I'll go and select my tank top, head over to my geometry editor tool, then use my tool settings tab and define an area that pokes through. I'm just gonna define something like this, just a whole somewhere here and once i've done that this is a selection that is now happening on the tank top i can go over to selection sets and right click on selection sets and then define my my own group of this selection there's various other groups that you can define like face groups and surfaces and regions i'm just going to use selection sets and i'll just call this one the poke section for example and what i can do now is i can go and open this and make this invisible. So now her skin pokes through. Usually we want to do it the other way around, don't we? <laughs> Usually want to you want to remove things from the skin that doesn't that kind of pokes through the shirt. But the principle is the same. Sorry, I'm just I'm just making a stupid example here. So, but my point is, if I now go and save the scene, then uh, load it in again, this is visible again. And that is Chang Jiang's thing. He says, hey, look, uh, when I'm batch rendering, I'm adding all these things into a queue, and then the queue just goes and renders this thing. So for that, I would like for the selection to remain permanently hidden, and that's not possible with selection sets. So instead, what we can do, and this is a bit of a more final step, we can remove that geometry completely from the model. Notice there's no undo for that, but it is possible to do that. So how you do it is uh, you go to your selection set and you just say, click the plus icon, which adds it as an active selection. So this now is as if you had just selected something like that. This is just, you know, you click the plus icon and then this gets selected together with whatever was selected before. You can also unselect that by uh, right clicking geometry selection, clear selection, that'll clear everything up again. But if we wanted to make this permanently invisible, let's click the plus icon to activate it and then left click, uh, sorry, right click on the selection and then under geometry editing, you can say, whoops, geometry editing, you can say delete selected polygons. And that's kind of, it's one of those things. If you, when you do that, then that studio pops up a dialogue that says, hey, you're about to delete 134 polygons and any internal vertices um, from the base geometry. This cannot be undone. So it's a bit of a final step, but if you do that, then there's literally a permanent hole. Notice that the selection set itself has gone away because it no longer references these vertices. They're now, they're now completely gone. And as a result, if you go and save this scene, and I might as well demonstrate that while I'm here, I'll go put it on the desktop and I'll call it test scene. Give it a minute. And uh, now I'm gonna go and maybe uh, open this again, open recent test scene. Then uh, you won't even see a difference, but <laughs> the, the, what will happen is that this hole is gonna remain there and you will never be able to bring these vertices back because they're removed for good. But it's kind of one of those things, it's, uh, it's uh, yeah, exactly safe before you do that. This is why I'm a big fan of selection sets because they can be undone. If you do need that, uh, that section in your in your geometry again you can always go and bring it back but if you ever wanted to make this permanently basically permanently disable this this is how you can do it there big hole in there so i've done it the other way the wrong way around i should have really made the selection set on the figure but i didn't have any pokes through so this is just easier to demonstrate the principle is the same and i hope Tianjiang, that helps there we go mouse agrees <laughs>